bom, 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 hello everyone, bom, 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 bathroom of solitude, third, Hello everyone, and welcome to the third season of Bathroom of Solitude. <laughs> yes, I'm gone for a while, yes, no explanations as needed, because today we're going to talk about two very special subjects in which you probably managed to already figure out from the title. Yeah, pretty clever title, though. Yeah, pull in on my fake imaginary suspenders. Big money, big money, big money, which I have none. I'm still poor, but not as poor, because I have got a job! Yes, Louis Prower is now a loyal lackey of the Walmart Dominion. Doesn't help much, I'm just a peon. They'll just put me in the front to be eaten by the cavalry that is Target and <laughs> Winn-Dixie. Winn-Dixie's food is better. <laughs> All we've got is good freaking deli with like popcorn chicken. The popcorn chicken is really awesome. You should go and you should buy some of the popcorn chicken. It's cheaper, but it's better than fucking KFC. But you can't buy it from the front because then it's all soggy and disgusting. And I, I had it once and I had a stomach ache. And I had to go to the bathroom and I had to take like five bathroom breaks at work. Can you believe it? Five. Poop everywhere on that toilet. I felt bad for the maintenance guy because the maintenance guy was like standing like right there waiting for me to come out. And I, I just looked at him and I'm like, You don't want to go in there. You don't want to go in there. But it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Anyway, let's see. Let's see. I need a coin. No, oh, I saw a coin in here. So what should we talk about first? Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Or my little pony. Wait. Hold on. Damn it. Hold on. Heads. My little pony. I never knew how much friendship something crap. Or Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Wait. Which one was heads? Stalling, stalling, stalling. Okay, Heads is My Little Pony. Well, no, actually Tails would be My Little Pony because they have tails and Red and have a head. Perfect logic. Ah, oh, son of... Okay. So we're talking about Metal Gear Rising first, see? I don't know if you guys can see the quarter head, but I don't know. Here we go. Okay. So, undoubtedly, everybody actually probably wanted me to rant on DMC Devil May Cry. Well, let me just say this not as good as the old Devil May Cry series. And at first, it can be kind of fun, except for the really abysmal music, but as soon as you realize how easy the game is to exploit, that's all you're, that's all you're gonna be doing. Now, I'm, people are gonna say, they don't exploit the game. Well, you, you know, if it's there, I'm gonna use it. Well, you're gonna use everything to be a game. Unless there's like special challenge thingies. And I'm not talking about, like, achievements. I mean, like, actual settings you can set. Otherwise, I'm just going to blow the hell out of everything. Ha <laughs> ha, fun! Anyway, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Awesome title. What did I think of this game? Actually, hold on. Prove that I actually have the game. Where is, where is Metal Gear Rising? Where is Metal Gear Rising? housekeeping me. Oh my god. She cried. God. Stack of like 30 PS3 games with this guy. There. Look. Proof. With with Walmart soundtrack. Yes. I used discount to get it. Okay. Now, it's perfectly pointless. You guys would believe me anyway. Okay. So. I beat the game. 
five hours. They really weren't kidding. This game is disgustingly short, and that's prob- I don't even know if it counts, like, minutes for listening to the codex. Most of which are not interesting, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Blade Wolf is awesome, but, you know, that's about it. Also, hey, Cardi chan Ooh, so kawaii. That was funny. That was funny. You guys need to see that scene. It's, it's like, is that like right near the end of the game? Okay, so the graphics. Ooh, actually, let's get on the subject of graphics for a second. Graphics, you know, you know me. I don't really fucking care for them. Well, as I've grown older, wiser, buffer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I realize that gr graphics are important to a certain degree. Unless I've already said this in a video. I don't know. It's been forever. Metal Gear Rising Revenge needs the kind of graphics it has to be entertaining. Because graphics like music is awesome. However, games like... Some games don't need that particular graphics, like Dynasty Warriors. Dynasty Warriors have pretty shit graphics, but oh, so many enemies on screen. Oh, stress relief. Oh, I need Empire Dynasty 7. Oh, I'm going to get it sooner or later. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's important, in, depending on the game. Depending on the game. Gameplay. Why am I reviewing this? I just want to talk about the fucking game. Okay, so, basically, I went to the game thinking it wasn't going to be all that great after... Well, okay, I went in there thinking it was going to be fucking awesome, but after playing the tutorial level and beating Metal Gear, Gear Ray the first time... No Gear. I was like, okay, so I barely have any moves. Blade mode is not interesting at all. And, yeah, I just... You purposely have to lose to Sam. So, I was like, oh, God, this game is not going to be as good as everybody said it was. So you go in, suddenly you have, like, super slow-mo blade mode, which lets you, like, cut enemies into pieces. You're like, oh, spine-grabbing. Oh, it refills my health and bar completely. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm cutting a ch sofa. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. The sofa's, like, in a million pieces. Oh, my God. I felt so good. Oh. Yes, I'm also aware you could do that in the tutorial level, but, ah, uh, oh, it feels so good with slow-mo. Oh, slow-mo, yeah, Matrix. <sighs> and believe it or not, at first that sounds kind of, you know, stupid, but it's Zondatsu. That's basically what it is, grabbing their spine. But you can do that to everything. Like, get, like Raiden's like, oh my god, a gecko, which are kind of annoying to take down in Metal Gear Solid 4. No, jump, slash, 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 slash in half, spine, right? Don't know why it has one. Yeah, baby. Full health and stuff. And shit. And great. And I'm like, like as you just play this, it gets better and better and better. And you would think it'd get repetitive slicing off, you know, like, you know, spines and like being like, Ugh! but you're, but it's like, every time you're low on health, and I played on hard and I'm playing on very hard right now, it's like, just seeing your health and bar go completely up is just so satisfying every time you do it. Cutting enemies into pieces you just want to see is just so exhilarating every fucking time you do it. It is grand. So grand. I love it. I love it. Then we get to the bosses, which I thought were going to be standard fare after Metal Gear, Ray. But, whoa, whoa, with that parry system, which is basically, you gotta hold, like, forward and then press the attack to parry, but if you press it, like, right when they hit you, it's perfect parry, so you just, like, do this super, super cool flashback. <laughs> and you have to buy the dodge move, by the way, I didn't even think about that. The dodge move lets you move backwards or to the side, I didn't even think about the side until I accidentally did it, and then he slashes and moves to the side, I'm like, fuck, that would have helped against every enemy with a gigantic hammer, because they're like, Boom! And I'm like, I'm gonna move step back. He was only gonna get hit by shockwave. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. But no. Uh, not to mention that every move you buy is pretty much everything Bayonetta and Dante have. Who? Stinger! Who? That super cool slash super powerful move. 
for that, you know, is done in Bayonetta whoosh. And, like, you know, Red Hot Key. Red Hot Key, yeah. Stuff like that. You can buy that, so. And stuff. Uh. The game isn't that hard, at least on hard mode. Then again, you start very hard mode, and those first three enemies will probably rape your ass. It was like, oh my god. And, okay, well, I was talking about the bosses. All of the bosses are, some of the, so, like, maybe the first boss, you know, past the tutorial boss, is standard fare, maybe, for an action game. But oh, the soundtrack! Whoa! It is, like, one of the best soundtrack, boss soundtracks for a game I have ever had the pleasure to listening to. You know, do you guys remember God Hand? Fuck God Hand. This is, this is so much better. Except some set writers can't fucking touch that song. That song is awesome. Midget Power Rangers, yeah! But, uh, yeah, each, each boss. And even then, you like, bosses like Monsoon and Sam and... Uh, I, I don't fucking care. Spoilers. Spoilers coming. Senator of Denver. I think Denver or Detroit. Senator Armstrong. Whoa. That was so unexpectedly fucking awesome. Oh my god. It was so delicious. Just. Just. A, just that boss fight. However, blade mode can be a bit annoying with that there right stick. Because, okay, for Sundowner and Senator Armstrong, they have attacks that you have to cut in a particular way. And s maybe it's just the controller I'm using. But sometimes when I flick the right stick, or I hold it to get the targeting in, I let go. Sometimes it decides to slash to the side, and then he slashes to the side, and Raiden explodes. And they're like, Raiden? Raiden? Raiden! Because, you know, you died. Metal Gear. Stop. Also, uh, uh, many, pff, pff, the game I wish had more, you know, silly little Easter eggs like Metal Gear Solid would have, but, you know, fine. And I just wish the game, I mean, I understand development time and all that, you know, like, they didn't have a lot of time, so I, and they were working with something that was pretty much a failure at the first place. Kojima. But, uh, like, after you beat Sundowner, the game just feels like it's not really there anymore except for the bosses. The levels just don't exist. You're just like, you're there, you're done. You're done. Also, there's a particular scene, maybe, I well, I got NPC Rocket, I'll probably just see if I can download on it. And, uh, basically, uh, there's this doctor and he starts, like, poisoning all these kids with, like, chloroform gas. And they're like, <laughs> And Raiden, and he's all like holding a kid hostage, and like, I'll kill him, dude, I'll kill him, fuck. Raiden's like, oh, oh, and then the little kid's like, do it, Raiden, do it, I don't care. And, well, he's actually talking in a really annoying accent, but I, I guess it works. You know, subtitles. And Raiden's like, but there's a why, he cuts. And he's just standing there with his sword, being all badass, and I'm like, there's kind of kids dying by chloroform gas back there, so, you know, anytime Raiden. You want to stop that anime bullshit, you know, kids dying. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. No. So, let's see. Uh, so we got that down. You guys know it's incredibly sh And because of that, some of the enemy types you don't really get a handle for beating. Or, you know, fighting properly the first time through. Then you hop onto very hard, unless you went from normal to hard. And you're like, fucking shit. I just realized I have no fucking clue how to actually deal with this. Oh! Of course, this game also has the equivalent of a devil trigger called Ripper Mode. Because, you know, Beyblade. But I'm sure people have already made that joke. Oh, what am I kidding? I saw the joke. Yes, people have already made the fucking Blair Rip joke. Anyway, let it rip. Um, Ripper Mode is basically, at first, seems utterly useless. Well, at first it seems totally awesome because you get it, like, completely during an entire boss fight. But then you actually get to use it normally, and it's like, oh, Ripper Mode's gone. But, oh my god, it's such a, what, the trade-off for such a quick bar drain is so ridiculous. You're killing enemies in like one to three, seven hits. And it's just, just ridiculous. I mean, sure, unless you do like Zondatsu, you're not going to have a full bar. But it's like, you just can turn enemies into putty. It's so, it's so awesome. This game's just so great. And if it just wasn't so fucking short. I mean, they have to rely on DLC to make it longer, and, uh... 
Yeah, I'm on a 3G connection, guys. I don't even know if this video is going to fucking upload. God, this feels such a waste of time. Also, the computer I was going to use it to upload doesn't have the right drivers for the SD card, so it just deleted everything I wanted to upload over the past year. Seven months. Everything. My Castlevania Rebirth thing. My... This cool glitch in Skyrim. I was, like, fighting a, like, a rat... Uh, what do you call it? Um... A Forsworn Ravager, and he was doing the spin attack, and I hit him with my bow, and the bow stunned him. Suddenly, he fell to the ground and started spinning like a tornado, like this. And I guess it's the best. He's like, so he starts spinning like a tornado, then he's like, boosh, woo! I can see. I, he's like, I, I keep an eye on him, going to the sky. Then I lose track of him, and then I'm like, fuck, fuck, where'd he go? And then you see him across the river, like just getting up from the stun. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to upload that to YouTube. But now it's gone, gone to my own. Not knowing that that computer didn't have the right drivers and it destroyed every single thing I had. Oh God, it's not great. Oh God, it's not great. Okay, but enough of that. Now we get into My Little Pony. I never knew how good friendship could be. My little pony, till you all shared it with me. Something about a beautiful heart and love and friendship and, and kindness and my little pony. You are my very best friend. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that rendition. So, what do I think about the show? It's pretty good, season one and two. I like them. Discord's pretty awesome. Uh, the show itself, I don't know. I, I, it's endearing, okay? I've watched so many. It's like Dan, like, if you guys watch Dan vs. That show's awesome. Okay. You guys are not gonna watch My Little Pony. Like, just, you know, fuck it. You'll watch Dan vs. Because that show is like the epitome of awesome. Epitome of awesome. Why the fuck do I say up to me? But My Little Pony is pretty good too. It's endearing. I watch it because it's endearing. I like the characters. No, I'm not, I don't clop. It's just endearing. The writing is pretty solid up until season three. Season three pretty much ruined everything. But I don't know. I I watched an episode of two, three, four, and I was just like, shit. This is the this is a show I can watch. This is a cartoon I can watch because, you know, the cartoon's out right now. And, uh, Fluttershy is my favorite. If anybody was trying to figure out which one I liked the best. I don't really don't know how to talk about this show, really. I mean, all the characters have distinct personalities. They grow, sort of, just throughout the show. I mean, uh... I mean, some of the writing isn't that great sometimes. It's just really, it's just endearing, though. It, it, basically, it just makes me smile when I watch it. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I guess, I guess that's how it got everybody else, with its endearing claws, and it's just like, yeah, yeah, look how endearing and not creepy animation style we've got. Yeah, yeah, check out our badass Flash animation style. Yeah, yeah, we're so great. Yeah, pony. Pony. And so, I started liking the show, and, uh, some of the fan works for it. It's actually pretty cool, like Pony.mov, and, uh, uh, I saw this Phoenix Wright crossover thing, and, okay, maybe it's just me being blinded by whatever, and at first it blows, but I keep watching, and I'm like, huh, this is a pretty good fan work right here. Uh, makes me actually want to play the Phoenix Wright games. Uh, somehow get around doing that. Yes. Uh, as f there you go. As for gameplay videos, I don't know, because this video has to be successful first. This video has to actually upload first on a fucking 3G connection, so... If it works out, well, grand! But, uh, we'll see about that. Plus, you know, I'll be on more often, I guess. Well, not really, because I have a job and I work really hard and shit. Like, take note, I also live, like, miles and miles away from my workplace, so... Uh, and, you know, ride situation, 
you, you guys will see. You, you'll get used to it. I hope. <coughs> so I guess I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Uh, more to come, I guess. But uh, for this, this is, this is good for now. It's good for now. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, take care, everybody.